Hi everyone, it's Jill from thisoldgal.com. Today I'm in the kitchen with Jill. I'm going to be cooking a recipe using Brussels sprouts. I know a lot of people hate Brussels sprouts. Ed hates them, but I'm doing it anyway. So this is going to be Brussels sprouts in a creamy Alfredo sauce. It's going to be fabulous. Now I've already pushed the button on this, uh, the melty pressure cooker for saute. On your Instant Pot, you would also hit saute. If you have a power pressure cooker or another type of standalone pressure cooker, just push your meat button. Any button that's going to allow your pot to preheat. You want to preheat the pot before you add in your bacon. So Ed is over there, you can't see him at the moment, chopping up some bacon. And I'm going to go and gather the ingredients and I'll be right back with you and we'll get started. See you in a sec. Okay, so the pot is now hot. It's adding eight ounces of bacon. All right, that's going to get things started. And it's going to help render the fat and leave the bacon nice and crisp. See, that closed it. Now it stopped screaming at me. So we'll leave this here for a moment as it's cooking. And we're going to start with cutting the Brussels sprouts. So what you want to do is you want to take a Brussels sprout and move this over here. Actually, Ed, you want to cut some? We're going to cut off the end like that. And then if there's a couple of bad leaves that you don't like, they're hard or tough, just pull them off and put them to the side. All right, so we're going to cut this as it's, the bacon is cooking. All right. So just get them all cut up and easy peasy. All right. All right, so we're going to continue cutting and we'll be right back with you as soon as the bacon is nice and crisp. Okay, we're back and you can see the bacon is just about nice and crisp. So I'm going to finish cutting Brussels sprouts in half and uh, we'll remove the bacon. All right, so we've got the Brussels sprouts cut in half. Right there. Thank you, Ed. Ed, do you have a plate for the bacon by chance? He does. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to take the bacon out. It's nice and crisp. If you don't get it all out, don't worry about it. It'll finish cooking. Or else, actually, their fat will just render right into the uh, to the sauce. It'll be delicious. Okay. So short, it's hard to see into the pot. All right, that's good enough. There you go, Ed. So we're gonna we're gonna save that for later. All right. So what you want to do is take. I squeeze the juice of one lemon, and I'm going to dump it into the glaze the cooking pot. It'll also add a great flavor. See how easily that comes off? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. All right, so now we're going to add four tablespoons of cold butter. All right, I'm going to put, right that, put that right into your pot. Let that melt. All right. And we're going to add about two teaspoons of kosher salt. If you're using sea salt, you're only going to want to add one. Okay. So there's two teaspoons of kosher salt. Add it to the pot. And about half a teaspoon of black pepper or more if you like black pepper. We like black pepper so I usually go heavy on it. Right, that's good. All right now I'm going to add some minced garlic. About you know three or four cloves or more. If you like a lot of garlic add more. These are big cloves, so I'm going to just do three. Get this mince real fast. And then after this, we will add the cream 
And I think the cream's in the fridge. You want to grab the cream for me, please? All right, there we go. Okay. So it's approximately, let's see, I'll put it into a spoon, measuring spoon. It's a good tablespoon of garlic. See, a nice tablespoon. I have another clove here, and since we like garlic, I'm going to add it in. There we go. Add the rest of the garlic in. All right. Looks wonderful. All right. Now we're going to add heavy cream. One cup of heavy cream. Bring that all together. Yum, yum, yum. It smells delicious already. And now the Brussels sprouts. This is two pounds of Brussels sprouts that we have trimmed and cut into half. So we're going to add this all in, just like that. All right. It's great to have a sous chef. Thank you, Ed. So just mix that about. After it cooks, we're going to add in some cheese. Yum, yum. Okay. All right. And that's it. I mean, it's really simple. So we're going to lock the lid in place right now, just like that. We're going to close the pressure valve. Usually it's away from you. You can see the pin is flush. And we are going to cancel the pot, and then we're going to pressure cook for one minute. So I'm going to hit my pressure cook button, and I'll come down to one minute. And that's it. I will see you in a couple of minutes. As you can see, the pressure valve has popped up. It will cook for a minute and then it will beep. And we're gonna do a very careful and slow manual or quick release. Okay, so now that pressure has released, we can't open it until the little button goes back down. So we're gonna slowly release the pressure. Controlled release like that. See that? I like to do that a little bit at first. It just helps the uh, liquid inside kind of calm down and settle. While this is releasing, Ed is grinding up some cheese. I'm going to let it go the rest of the way. I'll cut a lemon as well because you're going to want to drizzle a little bit of lemon over the, uh, the Brussels sprout alfredo. So I'll make some lemon wedges. Now make sure that you don't open the pot until the pressure valve has totally dropped. This recipe can be cooked in any type of pressure cooker, whether it be a multi-cooker or a plain pressure cooker. If you're using a multi-cooker like the Instant Pot or Melfi, you're going to want to hit saute. If you're using something like the Power Pressure or a standalone pressure cooker, just pick any button, the, the meat button will work and that will heat it up and you can saute. Okay, so the pressure valve has come down and we're gonna open up the pot, open it away from us, slowly, there we go. Okay. As you can see, it looks wonderful. Sauce is actually a little thick because of the butter. You notice the cream is not broken. When you cook with heavy cream, it's okay to add it in prior to cooking. All right, so I'm gonna start out with half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese or Asiago cheese, use either one. We actually prefer Asiago. I know a lot of people prefer Parmesan. So sprinkle that in. We'll do it a little bit at a time. So it melts, it's melting pretty quickly. Do a little bit more. The rest of it. Okay, perfecto. Oh boy, I just squirted it all over myself. Did you see that? Just a second, I need to wipe it off with me. And my glasses. Okay, that's better. <laughs> all right. Okay, so that's great. Melting nicely. Perfect. All right, oh, Ed's already given me quarter cup, actually a little more than a quarter cup, which is 
perfect of Monterey Jack cheese. Now normally a Alfredo doesn't have all this cheese, but I wanted this to be a little thick and uh, stringy and pulley and make it all delicious. So we're going to just empty all that in and mix it up. Okay. This is really hot. Once you uh, have everything mixed in, the sauce looks a little bit thin, but the Brussels sprouts will continue absorbing it. So now I'm going to add another quarter of a cup to make it a half a cup. All right. If you want to add more cheese, add more cheese. I think a half a cup of each is perfect though. All right. How does that look? Fabulous. Fabulous. All right. Now remember that bacon, that nice crisp bacon. So we're going to add it all in there. Except for a little bit. Hold back a little bit so you can garnish with it. So there we go. And hold back a little bit. Looks great. All right. Now for the taste test. Okay, let me grab some bowls. Let's see. A little bit in here. So Ed is not a fan of Brussels sprouts. He says, ooh, no, but no. I'm going to no, so I'm going to give him a little bit anyway, see if he'll taste it. If he doesn't want to taste it, he doesn't have to. Look at that. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. The sauce is nice and thick. I'm going to put a little lemon on it and a fork. Oh, you're here. Perfect. Come, in, come on in more. And I'm going to get some. Did you put extra bacon crumples on it? I can give you extra bacon crumples if you like. All right, one more. This is really, really hot. Actually, I don't think I put any on yours yet, so let me just do that. There's plenty of bacon in it. Right, there is. I know you love bacon. All right, not too much of mine. You ready? Here we go. This looks really good, everyone. I can't wait to taste it, but it's hot. Is it hot, right? Mm. Mm? Really? Mm. Wow. Okay, here we go. That's tougher than me. He can eat things really hot. I can't. Mm. I can pick things up that are hot too. True story. This is really, really good. The little pop of lemon just takes it over the top. It's nice and creamy. It's got just the right amount of cheese. Yum. It's perfect for a dinner party anytime. One more taste, just to make sure. Yeah. This is a perfect keto side dish. Low carb keto, it's perfect. It's got your vegetables, it's got enough fat in it. You know what I was just thinking? If you actually wanted to change your taste and you wanted to put a pop of blue cheese in it, add one of my blue cheese butter fat bombs. Just pop it right in. It doesn't even need any salt or pepper or anything. I already salted it and peppered yeah, I it. Know. Saying it doesn't need any extra. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and follow me on Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter. So, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you again. Bye, everyone. Bye. Hey, everybody. Ed here. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.